Hello again, it's Denise with Crafting on a Budget. Today we are going to do the maintenance on the 1430. This also would apply to the Stylus Photo 1400. So I can get in a little closer. I'm going to put my tray in. <clears throat> so over here is where the, um, the ink cartridges normally sit. I have already taken mine out. And this, at this point, um, I've already cleaned these, but what you would want to do is, excuse me, take a cotton swab, get a little bit of your cleaner on them, and then with the wet side, go around the first spigot to clean off all of the ink and then take the dry side and dry it off. And you'll repeat that all the way down to clean all of those off. Then you, you should always have at least two sets of cartridges, but I really recommend three. Two to have ink in and one for your cleaning solution. So I have my set of cleaning solution ones here and they fit back in just like the ink ones do. I also look down in here to see if there's any little pools of ink that I need to deal with and I let it go through a cleaning. And down there is the capping station. Right over there. Okay, so it's all done. Now, I'm going to press my ink button again. Okay, press my ink bu button again. <clears throat> and at this point, I'm going to unplug so then I can move the carriage freely. So down here in the capping station, I will put a little bit of my um, cleaning solution in. I'll let that sit for a few seconds. You don't need very much. And then I get my cloth. I cut it probably about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Oops. Put a little of my solution. Lay it down in the channel. And then put my print head over it. And after I've let the 
capping station. Sit for a few seconds. I'm going to take a paper towel and gently lay it on that capping station to soak up any of the additional fluid and inks that it's released. If you're too rough, you can knock that little capping station off. As you can see, it, it's wiggly, but if, you don't, if you're not careful, it'll pop off. And then I look down in here for any ink that needs to be cleaned up. Since I'd already cleaned it, looks pretty good. And now here on the print head, I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to gently wipe back and forth to clean the print head off from any dried ink that's sitting there. <clears throat> and what I find, it's usually the black ink that likes to linger. So I check, as you can see right there, I've got some specks of black ink. Take those off, move this over, and we're going to do that one more time. See if we come up with a cleaner head. Let's look a little better. Okay. And I leave these in until the next time I'm going to print. So now my maintenance is done.